Hey guys, Richard Butler here with another review. And today I'm talking about wisecut.video. Now, what is wisecut? Well, supposedly it is an AI, artificial intelligence, video editing, web-based program. So that's a lot to think about. So let's see if this really is what it says it is. Hey guys, welcome. Richard Butler here with another honest review of another lifetime deal. And you know me, I love lifetime deals. Why? Because you pay once and then you never pay again. And that is pretty good. Um, so before we start the review, you may ask, well, what's the catch with the lifetime deal? Well, honestly, there's none. Did you know that apparently Evernote and Dropbox actually started off on this particular platform called AppSumo? Now, there's a link below if you want to check it out. And the idea of a lifetime deal is that you buy lifetime access to a product and the company will get more users, they'll get a, a cash injection, uh, they'll get feedback, etc. And they're willing to do that for a limited time so that they can grow and grow into the product that they want to be. And WiseCut is a very interesting product. In essence, what it does is you upload a video and it will, using artificial intelligence, cut out any silences that it hears. And then it will also do what they, what they call punch in and punch outs. So a punch in is when the camera zooms in on you and a punch out is when it zooms back out to its normal size. Now that just makes the video a little bit more interesting because if you see a video, which I have done in the past and I'm just sitting in the same position all the time, you might think it's a, it's a bit boring, but if it punches into my face, well then it, it just, it breaks the flow and it makes it a little bit more interesting. So it does that. It does automatic captions and it also puts in smart music. So music that it believes fits your video. But the question is, does it actually work? Okay, so here's my situation. Um, I work on Mac, I edit videos anyway. I have ScreenFlow, I have Final Cut Pro. So I was thinking, well, could this save me time? But one of the things that does waste my time a little bit when I'm editing videos is silences because sometimes I'm doing something and then my phone rings and I have to check a message or I have to uh, check why something isn't working and I have maybe a minute silence, two minutes silence. So the first thing that I can see this as being useful for, and I said it in my very first video, is to cut out those silences and then what you can do is you can just export the clean video without any silences in it and then start to edit it. But that's before I knew the supposed potential of the software. Now, what do I mean by the supposed potential? Well, the potential is that this will also cut your video up into scenes. So I'm just rendering a video here, but let me go to my project list. And if I go here, you will see, for example, um, this video here, LinkedIn webinar. So when I go in here, it tells me that it removed 94 seconds of silence. It did 48 jump cuts, which are just um, that it cuts, and it put in subtitles. The subtitles are not great, I have to say. Um, maybe it's just my accent, maybe it's the speed that I actually speak at, but they're not 100% accurate. Now, if I go into edit this project, what I actually see here is the scenes it has deleted. And then I see the actual scene here, which is 32 seconds. And what I can do is if I want to break up that scene, I just click on the scissors and I just click on one of the actual lines here so I can break that up. So supposing I say, well, actually I made a mistake just on this scene here. What I can actually do is I can just delete that and that will supposedly delete that scene. And then when you re-render the video, it'll say um, instead of January, and I was thinking about how I can help people because yeah. Now, I think the first challenge that I have with this software is that there are other softwares out there that will allow you to edit word by word. So for example, if I wanted to remove this word, I could just delete it and it would cut that part of the video. What I've found with WiseCut is at the moment, and I'll tell you why I say that, at the moment, it doesn't actually um, sometimes cut that well, depending on the uh, spacing between 
your words, or should I say the gaps between your words. So for example, one video that I, I just rendered, um, you can faintly hear, well, more than faintly hear in the background what I had actually deleted. So it's not perfect, it's not an exact science, but if I was somebody who wanted to get into edit my videos a little bit, my YouTube videos, I would definitely be using this. Why? Because, I mean, I don't need any other expensive software. It will put in royalty free music for me, which is really important. And it'll put it in at the right volume because sometimes that can take time for me as well. That I have a five minute video, I have a four minute um, piece of music, and then I have to kind of copy and paste it to extend it to the actual five minutes. And it also puts in the right volume because I spend ages trying to get the volume right because otherwise you're shouting over the music or the music is too loud. Now, once you have this, another thing that you can do, and I'm going to try this for this video because I'm just going to edit this video in Wisecut itself, is that I can actually put in a different scene. So if I had an intro, I could just put in an intro here like that. I could just choose that and that would put in that particular uh, video. Now, of course, this is going to mess up my video here, but the idea here is that you can actually do that and then it puts in all of that video there. Now, you might just do it because you might say, well, I have, I just want to do it that way. If, for example, you make a mistake in your video and you say, oh, I should have put that at the beginning, you can actually reorder the clips. So drag and reorder. So I could say, well, that clip actually I want there. So that can be very handy. So, so what else is there to know? Well, you can translate the subtitles if you want it. Uh, the music, you can select music here from all the music that they have. Or when you actually go to settings, you can say smart background music. And you can have that music on low, medium, high, full. If you want to um, mute the actual uh, audio of the footage, you can just click on mute. And then you have an audio enhancer and an uh, AI voice booster and a video enhancer. I haven't seen anything wonderful with those, but they're just added tools. Now, I was talking to support and I did say to them that I do believe that we need that precision control of being able to delete words when you actually want to just finely tune um, the editing. And they say that that is on the roadmap. So I think this is I think it's a pretty good piece of software. I think it should work pretty well. And you will see this video because I'll be just editing uh, this video in Wisecut. Now, I will be doing one thing. I will be merging the screen cast with me as well. So I'll be doing just a little bit of editing as well so that uh, I'll green screen it as well. So you'll see whether that's good or bad. I'm really interested to know your comments below because you know, if you have questions, do let me know. But for the price, I do think it is a good addition to your library. It's not going to be perfect. I mean, you're not going to edit um, a Hollywood blockbuster on this because there are limits as well of it's 90 minute videos or up to five gigs. So you're not going to be editing um, a Hollywood uh, blockbuster. But if you wanted to edit something quickly, this is certainly a good start. If you want to get into video editing, this is certainly a good start and it will make your videos more professional without having to buy a an expensive computer because of processing power or b expensive software if you like the video give it a like obviously if you like the channel well uh, subscribe to the channel and if you like the um review that i did do use my link which is in the description below and i'll talk to you very very soon